Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Still trying to farm up those last few remaining items. Grind up those last few remaining items. Uh, Judas this time. Which means guaranteed deals with the devil, which means probably like nearly a zero chance unless we do boss rush. So that's, I guess, what we're going to aim for. J-R-K-T. 6-0-C-K. You might be saying, oh, random a different character, but, you know, I don't want to lose the streak. And also, I kind of feel like I'm entitled to have a run that actually has some relatively high damage after that last run. Oh, Northern Lion, don't complain, you got Magic Mushroom. Like, 98% of the way into the run, yes. Look, I accept that I have some Mercurial, oh, that's pretty nice. That I have some Mercurial form of luck. Trademark Northern Lion luck, quote-unquote, quote-unquote. However... You don't have to be intellectually dishonest about it. They, oh, Northern Lion's complaining about his lack of damage when he gets Magic Mushroom. I got it 98% of the way through the run. If you get it on the first item room, yes. You know, you can be like, look at this motherfucker getting carried. If you have to survive... That was not very smart of me. You have to survive the whole freaking game and then you get it at the end. That's a little bit different, I would say. Could use the tower card to try to find the secret room, but I would rather just, you know, preserve our half uh, heart here. Hopefully, not, not too worried about Deal with the Devil, just, you know, we're on the cellar, so we could fight a semi-difficult boss, and if we fight a semi-difficult boss, I hate this, yep, if we fight a semi-difficult boss, I would love the opportunity to not get, uh, straight up killed in the process. Okay, let's see who we're going up against here. It is the Haunt. We were going to use Book of Belial either way, but now it's, uh, you know, absolutely definite. We're two-shotting these guys, thank you, Blood of the Martyr and Book of Belial. Now what we gotta do is not take uh, very much damage against this guy down here at the back half. We're already like a third of the way through the fight, if not more, so I appreciate this. A very easy uh, haunt fight, actually, and we'll get Jesus Juice for some more damage. We're gonna keep exploring for now. Boss Rush should not be an issue on a Judas run where we picked up a damage upgrade on our first floor. We're gonna get a deal with the Devil, and I'm gonna take these deals with the Devil. We, As far as I know... Half Price Red Heart. Alright. As far as I know, there's no way for us to get a deal with the Angel as Judas with Book of Belial, so I'm not going to throw away Book of Belial. I'm going to, you know, number one allegiance to the streak. If we get some of those new items, awesome. I'll pick up anything new in Boss Rush that I find. You have my word on that, even if it ends up being shitty. Uh, but, sure. We're just going to stick to this for now. I'm, I'm just happy that we're actually de uh, dealing enough damage to kill enemies quickly. Whereas, you know, these guys would have taken us like two full Monstro's Lung Shots in, in the past, which is just ridiculous. I'd like some bombs as well. Uh, I'm not performing super well here. I mean, there is always the chance that I just walk into one of these fires or walk on spikes or something, get myself killed. The hope is that that does not happen, though. And again, like, we've kind of set the stakes high for ourselves, you know? The the cane run that we just had, I was like, I can't lose this because I beat the loss just before it. That would look embarrassing. And then on the... This run, I'm like, well, I can't lose this super high damage run, especially now that we have Cricket's Head, which is now absurdly good luck, I'll admit, uh, because I just uh, beat that cane run where we had no damage whatsoever. Hopefully this gives us some spirit hearts. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. All right, that's fine. This may is not, but it's going to have to be. So we're just going to do uh, the ye old rotation game here. We're already... The streak ends at 2. The streak ends at 2. Blue baby! Alright, well we can go to the Angel Ruse with this. Ignore this seed. Wow, that's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, except that I played extremely badly there. 9779G71F. Alright, let's do this. I've purged it from my mind. It's very easy to tilt in Isaac. Tilting, um, I think it's a word that comes from like the fighting game community. It might come from Dota, I don't know. Or might actually it might come from poker now that I think about it. But it's like, you know, you're you're tilting like a ship, you know, you're sinking, you're you're lilting. For a bomb, we could get uh, the deck of cards, which I think would be good. And the thing is, tilting, you always think that, you know, it means playing emotionally instead of playing logically. You always think that it's gonna make you play better in the moment, like it's gonna give you some extra fire, you're gonna become like Michael Jordan or something like that. Nah, dog. You're a sinking ship. You don't even know it. So we're just going to play logically, and the best thing we can do, you know, the, the streak is already... I can't really call it hashtag the streak anymore. The streak is behind us, and that run where we got so many good items right off the bat is behind us. Nobody's sadder about the fact that I don't get to play that run than me, believe you me. But all we can really do is try to make it better from this point onwards, right? 
I don't like to dwell on the past, prefer to just, uh, you know, truck ahead for the future here and see what we can do. It's my philosophy on life. Largely my philosophy on life is actually just, uh, eat, pray, love. That's, uh, the way I've chosen to, to, to live my life here, and it's worked out pretty well so far. That's not the way Dad did it, that's not the way America does it, and it's worked out pretty well so far. We need to get that bomb so we can get the deck of tarot cards. Oh, Scumbag Northern Lion's gonna give up the poop for deck of tarot cards. You bet your left ass cheek and other parts of your gastrointestinal tract that I am. Poop is not very good. That's not very good either. Um, deck of cards is not necessarily a game-winning item by any stretch of the imagination, but I think deck of cards is acceptably good. Should probably stop wasting my bullets on these nubs. If I just stand relatively close to them, we can pretty reliably get the Widow to kill them, and then all I have to worry about are these bullshit spiders that hunt you down. Alright, so you should be quite nearly dead. There we go. Not good damage, but if we get, you know, an... Okay, very, very bad damage. Starting to feel like I have been preordained to lose on this run. By my own ineptitude. We got half the Spirit Heart loss net, which is not so bad. I guess, all things considered. The real problem is that you want to make sure you can have enough Spirit Hearts to get a deal with the Devil. We don't have that yet. Or we don't have that anymore, I guess, is a more accurate way to put it. Well, that bomb is definitely gonna work. What the heck? I reversed the polarity on that guy there. Oh my god, this is just embarrassing. And that Temperance card, not really what I was looking for, to be honest with you. To be honest with you there, Jim, I uh, wasn't really excited about that Temperance card. Wow, alright, this is a, just not a good start. This is some... I, I find that there is oftentimes a little bit of a refractory period after a great run, and um, that, that Kane run was not the great one, run, but that Lost run... Maybe I got a little bit of a lost hangover going here. You know, people talk about sophomore slump, you know, the debut album tends to be good, uh, second album tends to be bad, or you know, you know, you win a national championship... Excuse me? You win like a national championship or something like that, and then the next season you totally bomb? That's, that's what I'm worried about right here, not that I, anything I've done has been on the level of that. What we have to worry about, or what we have to try to do, is ensure that this, you know, currently not very good situation doesn't blossom, or mushroom cloud, rather, into a, um, like a, a slump. You know, two losses is not a slump. The same that two wins is not a streak. But, oh my god, what, why, all of a sudden, all the enemies, they seem to be, like, ten times faster. Maybe my brain is just working ten times slower. That would actually be pretty like deleterious for my overall quality of life wouldn't just be an Isaac problem that would be like a real problem not that Isaac problems are not real problems I got a real problem with the fact that I only have one spirit heart left despite fighting a relatively easy floor okay you can fuck off forever my champion friend admittedly I dodged right into his shot on that Judas run and I should not have done that obviously but at the same time I kind of feel like I um I drew a shit draw there. Are there mullabooms here? Or are these just... Okay. The fact that these are all just like the kind of complacent human popcorns is extremely good. If these were mullabooms, we might have a problem. Now, I'm mostly going to concern myself with winning and, if possible, getting to boss rush. But if we could... Uh, if, if it's convenient for us to do deals with the angel instead of deals with the devil and possibly snag some of those new items, we will do so. I'm not in a rush for new platinum god. New platinum? <laughs> I'm not in a plush for... Plus. I'm not in a rush for real platinum god. Justice is good. That golden key is great as well. Pick that up right away. Get a strength card. Ah. The body. So that's spirit art upgrades. We've already had that, unfortunately. But it's a great item for us. One of the few items that kind of just saves us from our own prison here. And with golden keys, we can walk in here. I don't know what a two room does. Maybe rerolls all of our item pedestals or something. Definitely doesn't reroll everything on the ground. You might be asking, why the heck are you taking uh, your Temperance card with you? You can't use Temperance card as Blue Baby. Well, you know, half true. If we had the Chariot card or something, we could. But um, the real reason I'm taking it with me is because I'm going to look for a secret room, and we can put the Temperance card right down next to where I'm going to look for the secret room and blow it up. So the body is pretty amazing uh, as anybody, I guess, in most situations. But three HP ups as Blue Baby... Maybe, maybe the worst that it could possibly be as any character, but still pretty good. Especially when I was, you know, running a genuine risk of death there for a while. Now I should have a pretty good crack at getting a deal with the devil that actually works well for me. 
Hoping that maybe we can access the, uh, well, we'll hopefully be able to get to the shop and in getting to the shop we'll be able to pick up a spirit heart that'll give us an even better deal with the devil, uh, outlook. And hopefully we can bomb our way into our curse room as well. Man, okay, I'm playing bad. Step one, acceptance. Accept that you're playing bad, there's no spirit heart in there. Accept that you're playing bad and, and we're gonna try to work through it. Throw this temperance card down here. We're gonna try to work through it, get good items, recover, you know, it's not a death sentence that we're playing badly. Should be able to bomb our way into this now. Okay. Okay. Those pills could be great. Let's just focus on the positive. And we get, we get a pretty good amount of consumables here. Not quite enough to allow us to buy uh, an item from the shop, but pretty good. Pills sucked. But I think that in like almost all ways, that was actually still totally worth it. Did a strength card deal with the devil trade? I think we would end up getting ourselves killed. So I guess we're gonna have to hope for some HP. That's actually really, it's kind of embarrassing, honestly. I'll just own up to it, you know? I'll give you my my real emotions right now. I'm embarrassed that I've been hit like seven times on the first two floors here. A Little bit of a, you know, a hangover from that past run. I might as well take this right away. Get the lover's card. It's extremely worthwhile. Now, I can feel my, my body is like, hey, use a bomb against Monstro. That shouldn't be necessary. What we're hoping for here is either Squeezy or an HP upgrade, and then I, my, my fingers just used that. I didn't give them permission to do that, but I'm kind of glad they did, I guess. It sped it up a little bit. Again, the Lover's card is not totally useless as Blue Baby if we get Dark Bum. The real danger here is that we get a deal with the Devil, can't take it because I've been an idiot and taken too much damage. As a result, we find ourselves unable to take a great item. There are some situations where we can still take an item. The Pact, the Mark, although it's a little riskier. Ceremonial robes. We'll see. We got placenta, so we can take any deal now. If there was a deal. And it's ceremonial robes, which we break even and get a damage upgrade. So, it's uh, it's smart. Plus, we get a... Uh, yeah, we're just going to go. Ah, it's been a very slow first couple of floors here. Plus, we get a... Uh, Blackheart replacement for our spirit hearts instead. Which is good. So, let's move along. Placenta... You know, it, it's just an HP upgrade as Blue Baby. There are times when Placenta can save your run, but overall I kind of think it might actually be the worst HP upgrade in the game for the fact that it also gives you the regen. You might be saying, how is regen bad? I, it's, it's hard to answer that question. I like to be able to stay at a deliberate amount of HP if possible. I'm just going to check this out right away. I'm glad we did. We got Gimpy. Gimpy as Blue Baby is good, and I think we're starting to, you know, crawl our way out of what has been a disaster piece thus far. Damage upgrade from Ceremonial Robes, I don't think it's fantastic, but it's more than enough to justify the trade we made. That sucks. Alright, six keys. Mr. Boom. Um, I, I think the tarot cards are more likely to be better for us than Mr. Boom. There's some value in Mr. Boom, perhaps, later on? I don't know. I can't really justify taking Mr. Boom as like an offensive item. Once every two rooms, we'll kill like two enemies with it. Now, they could be two big enemies, because Mr. Boom does some decent damage, but... I think we gotta go with uh, the tarot cards instead. It's a little bit more of a, a punchy type item, you know? A little bit punchier. Plus, you know, the thing is, we can't generate tarot cards on our own here. We can still generate bombs on our own. Well, not generate, but we can use bombs that we have. So that's why I think Mr. Boom is like... It gives... It provides a better service than you're able to provide for yourself, but you can still just throw bombs down and attack enemies. It's not like Mr. Boom gives you that ability. Especially now that we have two of clubs. Which we probably should have saved instead of just popping it right away. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take that as a small victory. I was hoping to create a gap, or create a, a bridge I should say. Blow up both Larry Juniors and get the mushroom. To pay out with the pill. Instead, what we got was the secret room and none of the above. But hey, a bomb for a secret room is still a really good trade. And we're going to get a spirit heart here. I do still want to create a bridge, so we might as well try to blow him up here. Who knows what kind of greatness we can get out of this one. Two bombs. Well, there you go. We're going to more than break even because we're going to get the secret room and a spirit heart and we got two bombs back. Kind of a long room. I am skeptical about our chances to do boss rush, which is unfortunate because that's one of the most likely ways that I'm going to find some of those new items, I think. Maybe I'm just overly superstitious about that, but... At least we have three spirit hearts. Big room leads to boss rush. We have been to our item room. Oh, that was just 
Terrible. We have been to our item room and as Mr. Boom. We don't need that. I would like to go to our shop, perhaps. Oh, it's right below us, thank god. I was gonna say, because I'd like to go, our, go to our shop before we go to our uh, boss room in case I can buy a spirit heart. And maybe a battery as well. Man, I don't like fighting these bonies. That is not our shop. That is our. That is just a wall right there. There is a spirit art for sale. I know there's BFF as well. If I get the money, I'll buy it. I don't think we need the battery just yet. We can use bombs to beat the boss. If we get Pageant Boy, we'll have enough to buy BFF. Oh, okay, this is good. This is good. The Fallen is not necessarily an easy boss when you're not doing very much damage yourself. However, oh, I botched it so hard. At first, I was like, oh, I'm only going to hit one of them. And then I hit zero. And then I got hit myself. Twice. Almost three times. But I did drop a spirit heart thanks to Gimpy. Oh, I dropped two spirit arts. That's the most exceptionally lucky outcome we could have had. Because now I still have as much HP as we had when I started. I got a free deal with the devil item. And I can take whatever deal with the devil items in here. Uh, especially now that it's going to be either Krampus's head or Lump of Coal. And to be honest with you, I would probably take either. I like to poo-poo Lump of Coal, or sorry, I like to poo-poo uh, Krampus's head a little bit now. And it is possible that we can get better tarot cards. But, um, well, we're not going to have to worry about that. We're going to get to keep our tarot cards. Bad gas or the lovers, you know, the odds of us getting Dark Bomb are pretty low. Let's head down. This run is starting to piece together something good, but there's no... There's no question, I feel a little bit of haziness, a little bit of, uh, like this is not a very fantastic run, yet. Mostly because of my own play, you know, the game has been, Jesus, the game has been extremely generous to me. I, on the other hand, have, uh, have taken many of the game's generous gifts and just thrown them away. Maybe because I got, you know, too accustomed to that damage we were doing on that... Judas run where we lost right away. Well, again, if you're gonna get bombs or key, one of the best ways to get it is in a situation where it actually has no impact, even though that sounds ridiculous. Now we know that bombs or key is in our rotation, and it didn't really cost us anything. In fact, it gave us one uh, the plus one key minus one bomb, which is usually the outcome that you want anyway. More keys, less bombs. Thank God we got that two of clubs prior. All right, so our damage is acceptable for this stage of the game. Could be better. Spacebar item is acceptable. Could be a lot better. In a way, though, I'm happy we didn't get Krampus' head. Head of Krampus. Because I feel like that item has such, like, a baseline positive effect. I prefer to mix it up a little bit if it's possible, you know? Get a little crazy with items that I don't normally have the opportunity to check out as much. So Gertie is... The easiest slash most annoying boss. We're going to take out these nubs because they don't regen. Uh, and we're going to stand as far away as we can. And we're going to bait Gertie into all these attacks. But the, the main way you take damage against Gertie is not because Gertie is hard, but because Gertie is very survivable. And you know, if you're... You know, if you look at a long enough time scale, everybody makes mistakes, right? You're you, Maybe you're on some kind of uh, healthy eating plan. But if you, t if you look at a whole year, I bet you probably had a chocolate bar you shouldn't have had over the course of this year. That's how I feel about Gertie, you know? The pattern for fighting Gertie is very easy, but if you fight Gertie long enough, you're gonna get hit by a shot just out of laziness, lack of willpower, you know, to keep yourself disciplined. Or occasionally, like, some really nasty kind of nubs showing up. But hey, we did it. We did get a deal with the devil. And we got Rotten Baby, which I am gonna pick up. That does put us very low on HP, but Rodden Baby is such a nice damage bonus. That's the ultimate compliment that I can give Rodden Baby. I've been talking about Rodden Baby and how I think I underrated it. Uh, but the real compliment, you know, you just saw it. I picked it up when I didn't have very much HP. Luckily, we got more HP. That would have found the secret room, I think. Luckily, we got more HP in the process, but um, still. That's how you know I actually kind of like that item. Nothing pains me more, by the way, than not being able to go to Boss Rush two times in a row. Which is probably... How this is shaping up right now. You know, we're at 14 minutes. That's good. Two of, two of diamonds could be good for us here. Um, ooh, I don't have the speed necessary to, like, fight them in these corridors and then get back. In time for the, the shot to hit the ground, unfortunately. One fly. There we go. Alright, let's check out our... Ooh, it's not our shop. We have 10 keys, though. Yeah, we'll take the cancer trinket for sure. Extra rate of fire is super nice. Uh, if we'd kept the poop, petrified poop might have been worthwhile to take over the cancer trinket, but there's not that much poop this late in the game. 
Are you telling me that the flies from Rotten Baby are not enough to kill these turrets in one hit? I find that unlikely. And yet here we are. A speed upgrade. This is actually something I'm very happy about. Uh, could be a secret room down here. Can't officially say goodbye to Boss Rush yet, but it's looking pretty likely that Boss Rush is not going to happen. So we stew, uh, we stew. Yeah, we stew, baby. We stew. Uh, we do still have um, item room and shop remaining. These could be huge improvements for me. Uh, that was uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor. Jonathan Tim the Toolman Taylor Thomas from uh, Home Improvement. TV's Home Improvement, I should say. Now again, if we're going to, you know, create a bridge, we might as well try to attack them in the process. It didn't really work out for us very well there. Thank you, uh, Celtic Cross? Is that Celtic Cross that did that for us? It might have been Celtic Cross. Judgment. Okay, alright. I understand now. Let's go in here first. It's very risky. And roughly worked out. You want to use, like, two of Diamond's Judgment, but we want to see what's in our shop first. And we want to see if we get extra, you know, money first. Maybe we're, maybe we're fighting greed, so we shouldn't pop two of... Yeah, exactly. Shouldn't pop two of diamonds just yet. We're going to have another card after this as well. Maybe we get another two of diamonds card. Fairly unlikely. Get the moon instead. But now our, our financial situation is completely sorted. I would officially, semi-officially, kiss goodbye to Boss Rush now. We are up to 70 cents, though, so that's, that's pretty nice. Oh, I could have been at 72 cents! Dang it! Oh, you... Had a feeling we might see that. Shit happens. We'll probably blow them up. Sometimes you can actually get some decent consumables for blowing up Demon Judgment. Uh, okay, well, effectively we traded our Judgment card for three cents, which is not the way that I would have preferred that that situation had gone, but here we are. A boss rush room. These can sometimes be quite tempting. Yeah, I, uh, that, that was my bad. I can't really be mad at the game for putting me in that situation, because I, I put myself in that situation. I'm getting, I'm getting low self-confidence right now on this run. I like to analyze that, like, scientifically to say, you know, like, I don't have, I'm not unconfident, I have low self-confidence right now. Because it's, it makes it, it's more empowering, and, you know, it's something that you can deal with, because it's not a character flaw, it's a, um, it's just a, it's a condition. We have the condition of low self-confidence right now because I have taken a lot of damage. We are gonna get ourselves out of this, we're gonna get high self-confidence, we're gonna get some bitchin' deals with the devil, and we're gonna win this run. Even if we don't get any new items. You know, I, I, I try to downplay usually the importance of getting those new items and just like rushing as quickly as we can for real Platinum God because I'm gonna be playing this game for a long time. And a lot of these runs are just going to be, well, like, 90% of the runs that we do in Rebirth, basically, are going to have no new items. Minus the expansion stuff, if slash when it comes out. Uh, which I'm assuming, I'm not, I have no reason to believe it won't come out. I'm just, you know, it's not existing yet, so I'm trying to hedge my bets. You know what? Let's be positive. Holy Water, at least we don't have to get Holy Water in a deal with the Angel at some point. That's as positive as I can be about that. Let's move on for now. And I, I like parts of this run and dislike other parts of it, but uh, that's okay. I think we might have a good shot of finding our second secret room here. Alright. I wasn't technically wrong. You might have had a good shot. It just wasn't there. So again, it's been a very slow run so far. That's okay. We're on Necropolis. This is potentially quite dangerous. But I, I can't be mad at the game. The game has given us opportunities. We have not done a fantastic job of taking them. And also, our damage low enough that dodges like that, unfortunately, have to become commonplace. I don't like doing it. This room should be relatively easy. Instead, we find ourselves uh, very much kind of torn up here, having to get our hands very dirty. That's all right. This is the floor where we turn it around. This is the floor where we, where we earn it. And I, I really, really, really wish at this point that I had just kept that Judas alive, or Judas run alive a little bit longer. Cricket's Head, Blood of the Martyr, and we were Judas. And we picked up a black card in our self-sacrifice room. But just, there was a harbinger of things to come. Just very poor play throwing that one away. It's good the bombs might take out a Zambi or two. Come and knock on our door. We'll be waiting for you. Here's a homemade explosive device to kill a zombie or two. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, there we go. At this point, come on, Wallmasters. 
At this point, I think I can probably replace the tarot cards with Guppy's head. They're a little bit better offensively. Our damage is acceptable enough to, to say that three flies is actually somewhat helpful. We've got a judgment, and it's a real judgment this time. I appreciate that. You smart and you loyal and all that. I'd, I'd much prefer offensive items to uh, to kind of utility items for the most part, so I, I don't mind this at all. I'm going to save this uh, moon card to hopefully teleport out of a curse room, which curse rooms have now become more valuable as a result of the fact, of course, that we now have a guppy item. All right. We got a spirit heart out of him. That was a, a 14 cent spirit heart. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> That's uh, one more spirit heart than we had when we entered that room, I think. Taking a lot of damage, but I don't think I've taken that much. So, you know, I think a positive attitude does go a long way in Isaac. I mean, it's it's not the be all end all, but I think if you're if you're positive about things, if you if you realize that you know you you and the game aren't working against one another, you're working together to to create some entertainment, then you'll you'll find yourself having a better time because instead of the narrative being the game is trying to you know have sexual intercourse with you. It becomes, uh, you know, it's going to make me work for it. You know, instead of, I don't know. It's, it's, the game right now is playing a little hard to get. But not in a creepy way. Now. We should continue. Oh, why am I even looking for secret rooms now that I think about it? If we're just going to look for a curse room and then pop the crap out of our uh, moon card. Just wasting bombs. Bombs that we could use to blow up these skulls. Although I'm kind of holding off on the skulls. Starring Joshua Jackson, who is Canadian, by the way. Until I uh, find a room that maybe has a few of them kind of bunched up together. Two speed upgrades should make this kind of a no-brainer. It's not a no-brainer. It's still one of the trickiest rooms to get out of without getting hit. Uh, at least one of the trickiest rooms without enemies to get through, through without getting hit. I prefer that room to the room with the freaking... You know, the the moving brown spikes on the... You get it on the first floor all the time. There's a couple of different variations on it. I would rather have that room in, like, every room. Thank God there's no variation of that room with enemies in it, though. That would just be god-awful. Okay, Pisces... Uh, oh, every time. Cancer. HP up plus you feel protected. There's options is fine at this point. We get... Uh, even for 15 cents, basically, it doesn't matter because we're... So high on money. We'll take starter deck as well for the extra card room. Being able to carry two cards or two runes is actually pretty nice. In this situation, it's actually immediately fairly helpful. Want this Emperor card for later. And the... Uh, uh, the uh, t -t 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 moon card for this floor or for the next floor is pretty nice as well. Alright, this is big. We actually... This is the first floor in a long time where I felt like we're actually doing better against it than it's doing against us. That feels pretty good. We should get a deal with the devil, or at least have a chance at a deal with the devil. Obviously, there's, you know, a, a handful of items that I would very much like to receive. Dark Bung. Dark Bung! It's surprisingly similar, and, you know, it doesn't change the meaning that much, but... It feels like it changes the, the tone or the implication. Uh, dark, dark Bum is amongst them. Yeah, we'll use a key here for sure. Is this, this is only Necropolis 1, yeah. So we'll just go, basically. We're going to be fighting war. Um, I don't mind getting an orbital, actually. There are, there are many situations in which having an orbital is very important. For example, if we get any kind of invincibility, this orbital could be like the best damage dealer, yeah, for example, that we will ever have. We do have uh, the Celtic Cross effect. I believe the Cancer effect might give us the Celtic Cross effect as well. You feel protected? Seems like it. Or maybe it just gives us more spirit hearts on top of the HP that it already gave us. Uh, so we could take Latch Key as well for the luck up. But I, I'm content with the orbital here. Yeah, we'll take the mark. And we'll head down to the next floor. Unless we see a Tinted Rock, which we do. Probably missed a bunch of those, but we got this one. Yeah, alright. It was worth it. Maybe would have preferred spirit hearts, but here we are. Alright, this, this runs Persevering. It's starting to get to the point where we can we can foresee a, a win here. This would help a lot if, if we had the obvious payouts that we were looking for. We could just dip set out of this room as well. Oh, that could be a, a rules card. I Isa Ace. That's probably a seed that you can go play. Eyes Ace. You should give it a try. See what's up with that. I don't know what that seed is. 
That's pretty cool, though. Oh, the Fool card. I mean, we would rather use that than the Moon card to get out of this, but we'd probably rather use nothing to get out of this. Because we're almost done with it anyway, and we'll get some kind of consumable for finishing the fight here. That's the first time I've had the rules card and it hasn't paid out with Chubb says or Chubb dislikes smoke, I think. I wonder, probably other people have seen that seed, but you know. Give it a try and see if it turns out to be sweet, because if it's sweet, we could share it. We could play it all together. Look, damage is not superb. It's alright, we got all the time in the world. That's why the flies are helpful. And again, Isaac's head is a little bit like um Holy Mantle, sorry, not Isaac's head. Guppy's head, a little bit like Holy Mantle in the sense that it's um, very good on short rooms. The longer a room gets, the less effective it is. Holy Mantle, obviously, you know, objectively better, basically. Joker? Two of hearts. Doesn't do anything. Um, Curse of the Maze, apparently. I had forgotten. If we're on short rooms, then Isaac's head kind of keeps itself at equilibrium, which is awesome, you know? Or <laughs> Guppy's head keeps itself at equilibrium, which is awesome. A card against humanity just creates like a bunch of poop here. Um, we'll go into it, even though we were probably going to just use our moon card on this floor anyway. We could use it on a future floor instead if we want to. Ah, good, we got into our arcade for free. Doesn't really do too much for us, but that's okay. I don't want to go through this room, but I'll shoot the poop anyway. And it's uh, making me feel like petrified poop might have been okay, <laughs> but we're better off having the cancer trinket. Yeah, on, on short rooms, Guppy's head, you know, generates three flies. Three flies kill themselves. You generate three more flies. So on and so forth. Longer a room goes on for, the less likely that Guppy's head is going to be uh, that important, especially if there's like multiple enemies. Oh, that's it right there. Polyphemus. So Polyphemus doesn't win us the run, but it makes everything easier now. It, it gives us the best chance we've had thus far to win the run. Two Emperor cards. I actually really like the idea of having two Emperor cards and steamrolling past uh, both the Cathedral and the the chest. Our Rate of Fire is going to suck, but that's why we have the Cancer... Well, that's not why we have the Cancer Trinket, but that's something that's going to be very much helped by the Cancer Trinket. And then uh, our Flies are going to do a ton of damage. And if we can stay far enough away and, and fight easy enough enemies that, like, one Polyphemus shot or two in quick succession is enough to kill enemies, we can actually get a pretty nice fly army going. And fly armies are extremely important because then... Just fast enough. Uh, then if you walk into your uh, your boss fights with, a, like, you know, 10 or 12 flies, that's how you end up in those situations where you kill mom's heart without doing anything. You know, you walk in through a door in the top, it teleports you to the bottom, and then the flies follow you, and they all pass through mom's heart, and mom's heart dies. It lives, dies. Whatever you want to call it. So we actually lost a lot of flies there, but hopefully we'll get, like, 9 volt or something here. Might as well just enter this. Uh, regular stopwatch. It's beautiful. Very good. We'll also take the spirit heart, and two of hearts is very bad. Tower is not very good. Oh, we had nothing of value out of that. Have we been to our item room? Yes, it was Polyphemus. So if we find our boss room, which we do, we're just going to go for it. So Broken Stopwatch, I think, makes every room slow now. Which means that we we basically just won the game. Which I was not expecting. It was looking like it was going to be a little bit more dangerous. Even a Holy Water got in on the action a little bit there. That doesn't happen all that often. We're taking the, the Polaroid because I really need a win. And our deal with the Devil has Satanic Bible and Guppy's Hairball and two Spirit Arts. We'll take Guppy's Hairball. I understand the value of Satanic Bible, but I'm going to stick away from it for now. Even though it would be potentially awesome. And we're just going to hope to become Guppy with Polyphemus and, you know, regular stopwatch. Could be very strong. Most important thing is we are going up. Up to the Cathedral. Don't mess it up. I'm liking these rooms so far. I know there was a Tinted Rock over there. I'm not quite sure how we can get to it. It's possible that maybe we can create a bridge and I just didn't know about it. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, there's another Tinted Rock down here, actually. That's lucky. Another Spirit Heart. It's Now, it's kind of amazing, but it's hard to imagine this run being a loss. Is that trademark Northern Lion luck? Yeah, you know, we got carried early enough that you could say... like, Here's my version of trademark Northern Lion luck. My definition. You can feel free to disagree with it if you'd like. Pinky Eye, good, but not good enough, probably, to replace Cancer when we have Polyphemus. Um, if, uh, if I get crazy carried before the chest... Sure, 
Let's classify that as trademark Northern Lion luck. Let's say before the womb, because, you know, the womb is where, you know, things can start to get difficult if you, uh... Apparently the basement, too, is where things start to get difficult if you're Judas. Um, but the womb can start to get difficult if you're, uh, in a bit of a tough spot. I don't like a one. That re-rolls all of our items. Um... If I get re if I get carried before the the womb, sure, that's trademark Northern Lion luck. If I get carried after the womb or the womb or beyond, which I believe was um, Buzz Lightyear's catchphrase in the adult film Sex Toy Story, two. Um, that's our boss room. Good. Uh, then it's not Northern Lion luck. Then it's perseverance, man. You persevere, and eventually the game gives you an item that helps you out. That's not lucky. That's just you know you're 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 playing the game. I am a little tempted to use uh, the Emperor card on the next floor, but it, it is best to use it on the Cathedral and the chest. So we want Magic Scab, probably. HP plus luck. Spirit Heart plus luck, basically. Does that beat speed plus range? On every character but Blue Baby? Yes. On Blue Baby? Maybe. Come on, just red chests. All we need is a red chest. So that we have a better chance to become Guppy. I mean, we're already generating a good amount of flies, but I would like the ability to generate not only more flies, but also, you know, to fly ourselves. There's still more left, apparently. That's okay. Now there are knots. Hope that we can find a curse room on the way here. I, I don't think it's worth it. You know, what are we looking for? A joker card or something out of that? I'm not a joker, you're a turkey. That doesn't really work. Yeah, keep our flies alive so that we can uh, generate more of them. And hopefully, I mean, I don't think we'll be able to kill Mom's heart right away. But I think we'll be able to not uh, suffer too much in the process. Good. Yeah, anytime... It, it actually is a big win if we can kill an enemy before the uh, before the flies kill an enemy. Like, if our individual tiers can kill an enemy before the flies do, because then we get to keep our flies, and each one of these flies is gonna do an appreciable amount of damage to Mom's heart. It lives, whatever you wanna call it. See, I totally botched it there. We lost two flies, generated three, lost two, we could've done better. This room, it, this is gonna be a slow room, so we're probably gonna do even worse. Unless, you know, here's a tactic for you, just stay as far away as possible. Looks like we might generate three flies here. Problem is, it's so easy to lose three flies in the future. Not that interested in that. Yeah, like, there, here go three right now. That's alright. Pop this. Pop this. Maybe we even turn a profit there. I'm not too worried about our fly economy because, again, we do have Rodden Baby, so... Like, we're gonna be generating a lot of flies on boss fights as well. But, it would be nice to keep as many going as possible. No curse room that we can see, so we're just gonna go fight the boss. And then things are gonna start to move very, very quickly from this point onwards. Chariot. You know, good for playing the Blood Bank, but whatever. Not that important. Yes, good. At least a couple of the flies decided to do their due diligence when deciding on a target. There we go. This is mostly going to be Rotten Baby's time to shine. I should not be standing here. This is the... With a slowed mom's heart? Yeah, that was like the only place on the fight where I was like guaranteed to take damage. And the deal with the devil is meaningless. Let's head up, then we're gonna fight Isaac, and then we're gonna go open our chests, and then we're gonna go, and we're gonna finish the run here, hopefully, you know, for the best. Let's just walk into one room. Actually, this room's easy enough that we'll walk into the next room as well. This room is gonna cost us some flies, so we're gonna go. All right. And we still have one Emperor card for the next floor. If you're wondering what I was doing, basically I was like, first off, we can probably generate some flies. Secondly, maybe there's just going to be like a tinted rock on the ground. Or maybe the enemies are going to be easy enough that I'd rather fight them and see what consumable they have. So my, my general strategy is no longer like pop the Emperor card in that first room. It's um, go into the go into the first room that you see, and if, if it's easy enough, fight it. If it sucks, just teleport out before the enemies have a chance to attack. It, it's such a minor thing. But, you know, it, it can make a small difference in your chances of success. As you can see here, we're not uh, blowing the doors off with our damage, but that's okay. We're doing pretty well. Flies helping out. That's not very good of me. And we gotta beat Blue Baby without very much HP. Probably. But that might be, like, completely okay. We might be totally fine. And this would slightly make up for that terrible Judas run. Okay, Spoonbender, HP up. Spider baby, butter bean. Thunder thighs, I'm mostly taking for the extra spirit heart. Uh, Spoonbender is good. Spider baby, 
Spider Baby's pretty good. Um, this room seems easy, and not only that, but uh, this could be a blue famine that we just can't tell. Okay, that was not worth it. Ah, we're gonna go. We did lose one fly in the process there, but that's okay. So I shouldn't be as concerned about how this run is going, considering we do have uh, Polyphemus and Stopwatch. You know, we're, we're gonna be fine here. I mean, the enemies can't even really get to me, which is pretty nice. Even the flies, uh, you know, they rotate a little bit, but as long as I keep moving, there's not much in the way of uh, concern that I can suffer here. Mostly it's just annoying that some of the Polyphema shots don't make it to Blue Baby. That's gonna do it. Look, we did get carried. We got lucky to get as carried as we did. I messed up that run, but hey, we won. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.